Three mistakes 80% of riders make preparing for Hadar Desert Race. Um, so I've been working with Hadar races since I think 2016, maybe 2017. Um, and as I've worked with more and more riders, I see the thought processes of how they train, how they prepare, and things that are breaking down and not helping them. So I tend to see the same things that come up. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, my name is Andrew Hammer. Uh, raced motocross for 14 seasons of racing, struggle with racing fitness. So hopefully this video helps you guys getting out to Hadar. First thing that I notice that comes up quite a bit is bike time and the type of bike time. So Hadar is a four hour race. It's a very rough track, very sandy track, very whooped out track, lots of standing up. Um, but also the track is getting rougher and rougher and rougher over those four hours. So it's taking more and more out of you. And so what I find with a lot of riders is when they're preparing with their bike time is they go out and ride and they might ride for half an hour, ride for an hour, but they take lots of breaks, they stop when they get tired, they have a drink, or the riding is a lot less intense. Okay, they go and do some single trail for three hours and they have a break and stop for lunch halfway through and then keep going. And the problem with that is that that's very different to what's gonna happen at Hadar. So you wanna make sure that your practice riding is as close as we can get it to racing. And so what that means is just finding a really rough track, doing a lot of laps on it, only stopping to be able to get fuel, so you can get your body conditioned to being on the bike for those periods of time, and it's not as much of a shock for you when you get out there for Hada. Second thing that I notice is strength. Um, a lot of riders don't do any strength work to help them with Hada, which always surprises me, but it always comes up. So if you think about the weight of your bike, your bike might be 100 kilos, and then you've got your body weight on top of that. So if you weigh 80 kilos, that's 180 kilos in total. So for Hadar, you need to muscle around, wrestle around 180 kilos for four hours, which is a long time. So there's no amount of rowing or cycling or running that you can do to build the strength to muscle around 180 kilos. You need to be lifting weights and getting yourself stronger. If you can get yourself stronger, you make the bike feel lighter. You can make the bike feel lighter. You'll use less energy when you ride. You use less energy when you ride. You can ride harder for a long period of time. Third thing that I see is um, fueling. And I don't mean fueling for the bike, I mean fueling for the riders. Um, what I see with a lot of riders is that they don't have a plan for how they're gonna fuel themselves. And they just react to the problems as they come up throughout the race. So it's like, oh, they got arm pump, they start rubbing out their arms or putting deep heat on, they get cramping, they're like smashing salt tablets and electrolytes, or they run low on energy, they're like smashing carb supplements and caffeine. And by the time it gets to that stage, it's usually too late. Okay, it's more just trying to manage it rather than eliminating the problem. So to help with that, um, it's always better if you can be on the front foot and be prepared and organized. So before you go in, map out, okay, how often am I gonna stop throughout the race? How often am I going to need fuel? Um, what am I gonna have at each of my fuel stops? Do I need to have a carb drink, a protein drink? Am I gonna have an energy bar? Am I gonna have some lollies? And also, what am I gonna do beforehand? Um, and the best thing that you can do is do a practice race. Okay, so before the race, do a practice race, Go riding for three or four hours, get all your nutrition mapped out so you know exactly how you're gonna feel. And then when you're going to Hadar Desert Race, then you can just focus on the riding and racing and not trying to survive the event.